right. <gasps> if you have a problem, pull this handle. It signals us and we arrive in the blink of an eye. Marla, you wouldn't happen to have some potassium chlorate to add to my magnesium citrate? And why not add some copper nitrate with some germanium oxide? <laughs> with germanium oxide? That there's a good one. Don't you think, Patricia? Yes, yes, it's very funny. What's going on with the antidote for the elephant's flu? Oh, yes, actually, it's ready. You can bring it to them immediately. Oh, great. All right, see you later. Have fun, chemists. About Ernest's last invention? He was working on an automatic pistachio opener, right? Yes, it created a level five earthquake. That's impossible. I'm almost certain there was one full jar left. Ah, there it is. There's a bit left here. That should do it. Thankfully, there were no casualties. It's a miracle. He's making progress then. <laughs> Hi, friends. You seen my brush by any chance? It's behind the jaws, Maurice. And your research on the antidote for the Mortiferusia juice? Well, I actually found the formula about two days ago. You weren't afraid to get too close to the poison? No, I was wearing a protective suit, Marla. I'm not that careless. Actually, it reminds me that I should get rid of the rest before anyone touches it, especially with its orange color. Maurice could confuse it huh? with his paint. <laughs> oh, can you imagine the disaster? Uh, so it's not my orange paint. At least it's not dangerous. What? It's extremely dangerous, Maurice. You have only one hour left to live. What? But there is an antidote, right? No, I'm out of it, and I don't have the ingredients to make more. Then tell me what you need. I would need a black pepper, a cactus flower, and some cobra venom, but you don't have enough time to find it all and bring it back here. Yes, the black pepper is at Rogers, the gardener, and the cactus flower is in the desert. And you'll need to find the venom at Cobra's Rock. Going to all three places will take you an hour. Your only hope is to go by yourself as fast as possible. Once you've got the ingredients, eat them all at the same time. To know how much time you have left, we'll ring the signal every 10 minutes. Good luck, Maurice. Well, it's not my day, so. Now, off to see Roger. Go, Maurice, run, run! Good luck, Maurice! Thank you! Ah, <sighs> phew, 10 minutes. There's 50 left. I'm on time. You're not going to answer today? I'm glad you're here. I would like to ask what you think of my Catalan meatball soup. Wait, Roger, no, don't touch me. <laughs> Can I be honest, Roger? Of course, I'd have it no other way. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. Yeah, the soup's totally disgusting. Well, yes, exactly, Maurice. This Catalan meatball soup is absolutely disgusting. It's really unfortunate, too, because as you can see, I just made about 18 gallons of the stuff. What will I do with 18 gallons of a soup that is terrible? Huh? Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Roger, I don't want you to think that I'm not concerned with your soup issue. It's Catalan soup, Maurice, with meatballs. Yes, well, you see, I'm going to die in about an hour because of toxic paint I put on my body unless I gather all the ingredients to make an antidote, one of which is in your garden, a black pepper. Mm. Dying in less than an hour? Why didn't you say so, Maurice, instead of tasting my Catalan soup? The pepper plant is over there, but there is a problem. We can't get close because of the bees. And bees don't like being bothered. <laughs> Whoa, I've been trying to find a solution for years. I've tried everything, Maurice. Those pests resisted it all. You're my savior, Maurice. How can I ever... No, wait, I... Roger! The paint wasn't dry, was it? No. Now what? Well, sorry, but you've only an hour to live. Come with me. And I only have 40 minutes left. We have to hurry to find cobra venom and some cactus flowers. Let's go. Whew. There's 30 minutes left. Come on, Roger. No time to slow down. Uh, Roger? 
I'm okay. I still have 50 minutes. Whew. And look, there are two flowers. Luck is with us. For once, it won't be too complicated. Well, sort of, I guess. Wait, I have an idea. To the right. To the left. One, two, three. Yep, it's not my day. You all right, Maurice? Just fine, Roger. Uh, no time to waste. Next stop, the Cobra's Rock. A little help here, please. Oh, I'm doing my best. Oh, I don't have all day. I have a very important meeting. Come on, are we moving up front or what? Be patient. What is happening in front? Why aren't we moving? I bet someone tried to go too fast. I can't take it anymore. We've been waiting for <sighs> half an hour. Yeah. I know it may be rude, but we could go over the top of them. What do you think? Go, oh, you decide, Maurice. I'll follow you. You have 20 minutes left. I'm not in such a hurry. I have 20 minutes more than you do. Come on, Roger. Follow me. <laughs> You are. Good, honey. You tell them. Need a push? Thanks for the lift. Well, finally we got some help. So, where are the Cobras? Unbelievable. We're at the Cobras Rock, aren't we? Can't catch a break today. Cobras, Cobras, cobras where are you? Cobras. Hello, Cobras. Yes, yes, here we go. Here's the Cobra, and there's only one of them. It's the Cobra's Rock, singular, all right? Where do you think you are? What's all the racket? What do you want? Well, actually, uh, hello, uh... Philvon. Everyone calls me Philvon. Hello, Philvon. I'm Maurice, the Great Tiger Warrior, and this is Roger, the Gardener. We're looking for some Cobra venom. It's urgent. Otherwise, in less than ten minutes, we're dead. <clears throat> Sorry. I'll be dead. For him, it's about 30 minutes. Oh, that's too bad. Just not your day. <laughs> not for information. The venom. Uh, I'm out. <laughs> uh, sorry. Not funny. Huh? What? You don't have any venom? All cobras have venom. Yes, that's true. But me, I'm afraid of venom. I'm always worried I'm gonna bite my tongue. You know? So every morning I spit my poison in the pit. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. You what? Every morning I spit my poison in the pit. You said you spit your poison in the bit. No, no. Not in the bit. <clears throat> the pit! Right there. Oh, I see. The pit. Thanks, Philvon. If we're lucky, there might still be some left. Look, there is some. Well, we just need to figure out how to get down. Hold this, Roger. Oh. Banzai! Oh, 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 oh. Oops. My bad. You all right? Everything good down there? Oh, there are days like this. All right, the last ingredient. Roger, pull me up. All right, Maurice. One, two. Hmm. One, two. One, two. <sighs> One, two. I know you. You're Maurice, the great tiger warrior. I'm who? Not at all. I'm Roger. Roger the gardener. I won't shake hands because I'm rather busy, but it's a pleasure. Hmm. You think I'd make a mistake so easily? You won't fool me even without glasses. I recognize your orange stripes and your sneaky face. You kicked my butt a few weeks ago. So let's see if you're still a tough guy without your friends from the jungle bunch. <laughs> what? Now, hold on. Be reasonable, sir. What's got you so upset? Sir, stop. No, oh, I didn't do anything. Roger, what are you doing? I don't have much time left. I know, Maurice, but I'm having a little problem with a certain, uh... What was your name, sir? As if you didn't know, my name is Chuck. Come here, and I'll teach you a lesson. Chuck? I'm dealing with Chuck, Maurice. No. Oh. oh, I see. It has to be today. Okay, Roger, stay attached to the rope and jump in. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> the tiger knee technique. Banzai! Wow, super impressive. But how do I get back up? Uh-oh, it's time. Now your turn, Roger. Yes, yes, yes. Don't worry, Maurice. I'm in no hurry to sample that antidote. Yeah, I can't believe you're drinking my spit right now. 
Excuse me, I'm gonna go. If I stay, I'll bomb it! I'm so ashamed. I was so sure I put it there. What are we gonna do? Uh, it worked, Gilbert. I was down to the last second, and Roger was getting there, too. Uh, what? What is it? Uh, I just found my jar of Mortiferusia juice, which means what you used earlier was actually orange paint, Maurice. <laughs> That's funny, no? Mm. Like I said, not our day. Tell me, Roger, do you still have any more of that delicious soup of yours, the Catalan meatball soup? Yes, of course. I was actually going to invite Gilbert and Marla to come over and taste this delicious soup. How about it? Don't be shy. I want to know what you think of it. Well, we did work hard today, after all. We deserve a small bowl of soup. Make sure you finish it all, my friends. They don't seem too angry. Yes, that's true. We're doing well on that one. Mm -hmm. 